it looked like you guys had kind of found it offensively those first couple innings and they changed pitchers. How good was that guy and what was he doing to? Uh, you know, he was just changing up. He had a pretty good uh, change up and uh, he had a sharp, quick slider that, you know, kept off balance, you know, hats off to him. He uh, able to keep our bats kind of not too much noise out there, but uh, you know, TC is a good team and uh, they showed the beast two times in a row. We gotta, Gotta give credit when credit's due. He didn't stray too far from the strike zone either. Didn't look, I don't know how many strikes and balls, what his count was, but it seemed like everything was near the strike zone. Yeah, he was pounding the zone. He was uh, he was effective. Andrew, what, talk about the, the emotions right now and how tough is it for, for guys around here? Uh, a lot of guys, this is their last time uh, being with this group, and uh, uh, it's tough. Uh, you always want to be the last team standing, but, you know, can only be one team, and uh, it's not us this year. So, you guys all kind of pass a torch, but you've got a, a special relationship with a couple guys coming. What do you tell those two guys when you talk to them that are coming from St. Thomas More, what to expect and what you expect from them? Uh, play hard every day. Just go out and give it all for LSU. How good do you think this that team is going to be this year? You know, uh, they got a great group of guys coming back, and uh, I can be as good as they want to be. So. I know Coach is going to do their part to push them, and uh, LSU is always a good team, so it'll be a good team.